Hey guys, Ryu Karat here. Welcome back to Let's Play Merry Gear Solid 2. I hope you had a merry... Wait, hang on. I hope you had merry much fun watching this LP, because this is the last part. Anyways, gotta think of some... something to... Alright guys, it's time to wrap up this fight! Ghost of Christmas yet to come? You don't stand a ghost of a chance! Shine. Here he comes! Is he in a wheelchair? Now, special delivery. Oh, oh wheelie now! Why is he in a wheelchair? Freeze! It's been a long time, Snake. Huh? It's all thanks to you, Snake, that I, Timothy Cratchit, will become the next Father Christmas. Timothy Cratchit? You mean your tiny Tim? St. Nick CEO and Operation Tim? Santa? Tim? It's uh, Tim for him to die! That years ago, after my father, Bob Cratchit, died of asphyxiation whilst lodged in a chimney. Do you know what he was doing, Snake? He was pretending to be Santa Claus for his children. You actually couldn't be any father oh, from was. uh, getting the Christmas spirit to be Father Christmas. The rhythm of Bobby. The little drummer boy Cratchit's heart. Oh, so he then was a drummer? Course, the media got okay, then. The story. Since he's a Dr. drummer, Cole I'm going to beat Cratchit the crap out of you. Cratchit. You're That's now right, ensnared in my minute. trap. But to die the king of Christmas I'm sorry, I'm just being rude All now. I need from you, Snake, and we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Is Santa's passcode. But I don't know Santa's passcode. I thought this was why you were going to bargain with the president in the first place. Ha! and risk getting the U.S. military involved? I think not. When I learned that Jack Frost had been defeated, I wondered to myself, could this be the legendary Solid Snake? Trying to throw another wrench into my grand plan? Another wrench? Ha! <laughs> you still don't know, do you? Three years ago, I sent St. Nick on a mission called Operation Secret Santa. A mission to a certain 14015 Hideo Drive. To deliver a Christmas gift. To what the kind of people. house has ten floors? I constructed that house, Snake. Impossible. That's crazy. Perhaps you didn't notice the outright lack of windows on the inside, in spite of them being on the outside. So basically, it has windows with brick walls behind much more them. than would be necessary in any household, or perhaps the fireplaces without log racks didn't give away that they were in fact false fireplaces. It was a trap, Snake. A prison in which I would keep Satan. Snake, you need to fire at him! I'm pretty sure Snake took his gun. Unfortunately, I ran into an unforeseeable inconvenience. Unforeseeable inconvenience? You, Snake! You were not part of Operation Secret Santa! Had it not been for your assassination of Saint Nick, Operation Secret Santa would have been a success. And I would have become Father Christmas. Then, of course, the U.S. government took possession of Nick's body in order to cover up the death of Christmas. It was by chance alone that they'd left behind Santa's hat. I was left with no choice but to come up with another plan. A plan to negotiate for Nick's brain to uncover the passcode stored deep within. You know, I never knew I that the word to the uh, passcode was that, spelled like I that. I to get in touch with the children of the three wise men. The ghost but Christmas you were one of them. That's right. You see, Santa's hat could only be used by Nick Jr., Santa's son. Hat's and insane, Tim. Activating Merry Gear for mutual gain, I created the ghosts of Christmas past. Little did they know. The Merry Gear was not actually a bipedal sleigh with the ability of launching gifts from any location. It wasn't? Of course not. What use would that be to anyone? No. The Merry Gear was actually a VR training simulation course designed to transform one person into the Designed next to transform Santa one Claus. person to do into the next Santa Claus. To bring an end to the tragedy of Christmas. Tragedy of Christmas. It was only by becoming Father Christmas myself that I could ensure the children of the three wise men would never become it. By becoming Father Christmas, I could end Christmas once and for all. A world without Christmas. But what kind of world is that to live in? 
Snake, that's not something you'll ever have to worry about. Now tell me, Snake. Tell me your Oh, maybe you didn't take his gun. Brain, his passcode. I don't know Santa's code. What were Saint Nick's final words? Uh, Santa's last words were. Take yeah, a guess here. Also, I didn't take a guess. Christmas to all. And to all. A good night. So, I really don't understand what just happened. Did Snake take his gun? Did. Uh. I, I just don't know. Anyways, this was Mary Gear Solid 2. Gotta say, I had a lot of fun with this LP. Not saying I didn't have fun with Pokemon Emerald, but, like, near the end of that one, I, I was, like, really ready for that to be over. Probably because I've been. Uh, I'd spent such a long time on it. Anyway, some of these different kids you did not get to see because, you know, I didn't go, go to where they were. Also, if I sound like uh, I'm trying to hide pain, I am. My foot is acting up again. Wait, why did they recredit him? I mean... Didn't what? Why would they recredit him if uh he only spoke in flashbacks? Is that really necessary? Jack Frost. Bob Cratchit. God bless us everyone. Entered by Timothy Cratchit. Saint Nick. Happy Christmas to all. And to all. A good night. Entered by Dave Schnut? Apparently, Solid Snake's real name is Dave Schnut. Snake? You're not really thinking of... Otacon, there aren't very many things left for an old man like me. But to bring joy and happiness to the ends of the Earth, why, there's nothing I'd like more. Well, if that's how you feel... I won't stop you from stepping into the merry gear. It's been a real pleasure working with you, Otacon. I want you to know that you'll always be a friend. Even after I've become Santa Claus. You'll always be a good friend too, Snake. Well, guess I'll be seeing you next Christmas then, huh, Snake? <laughs> Not if I'm doing my job correctly. Merry Christmas, Otacon. Merry Christmas, Snake! Whoa, uh, what? Cindy Lou Who? I can't let you step into that machine, Snake. For the position of Santa Claus... ...has already been filled. Saint Nick! But I shot you in the head! Yeah. And I'm not too pleased about that. But the true spirit of Christmas lies not within the head, but the heart. Quick, Snake! And shoot him in the heart! Tragic Tim's plans from the start. How'd you do that? Why, my list of naughty and nice, of course. Once I discovered his intentions, I knew I had to stop him before he could fully act on his impulses. So I planted some information on the U.S. government's encrypted security channel. Namely a tall tale about a project called Los Bigotes Perfectos. You made that up? I knew that by planning a story about Metal Gear, I could get you to sneak into Tim's trap with me. And ultimately, help me fake my own death in front of Tim's eyes. But what about Nick's, er, your brain? Don't tell me it was just a pile of spaghetti or something. Just another piece of misinformation I planted after the Secret Santa incident. That was all it took to convince both Tim and the President of the Brain's existence. Yeah, it did seem a bit hard to believe that your brain could have managed to remain intact after a shot in the head. So in the end, it all had to do with belief, huh? Belief is a powerful thing. Tim used it to deceive the ghosts of Christmas past and to end Christmas once and for all. But in the end, it was your beliefs that prevailed. I don't see what my beliefs have to do with anything. The Santa Claus, Snake. This entire mission would have been for naught had it not been for your belief in my existence. I don't believe in Santa Claus. I'm too old for that crap. Though you'd even seen my dead body with your own eyes, in your heart you still held hope that I was alive. It was this belief alone that continued to allow me to exist long after the assassination. Well, just don't go around telling everyone. I've got a reputation as a hard mercenary to uphold. Your secret safe. Mercenary? Well, I 
mercenary? Really? Mercenary? Chances are we'll never run into each other again. Not if we keep doing our jobs correctly, anyways. Goodbye, Snake. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Otacon, the mission was a success. <laughs> Have yourself a Merry Christmas as well, Snake. And a Happy New Gear. Ah. Ah. Also, I hope you like credits. I feel you because we got more of them. But yes, as I was saying before, I had a lot of fun with this LP. Like, um, when I started this LP, I w I wasn't even sure if I could. Uh, pull it off because there were a couple rooms that I was rather worried about basically if you want to know which ones I was worried about uh, go back through and watch and pretty much any room I scream in wh when I successfully make it to safety that room I was worried about Anyways, I was, even though this, the whole one item thing was blind, uh, I will say that, uh, a couple runs ago, I, I had been taking, taking some time to see how you could, uh, get past some of the earlier rooms to, uh, without using items. So earlier on, I kinda knew what I was doing. Man, there are a lot of songs. He sees you when you're sneaking. Oh man. I didn't even read those song titles. I'm sure there's a pun in uh, all of them. Oh, and speaking of the pun count, uh, I actually... Uh, from the beginning of the LP, I was actually hoping to get at least 50 puns. And then when I uh, got to 45 after the third episode, I was like, oh my god, if I somehow don't hit 50, I would be disappointed in myself. I would be so disappointed in myself. Mary Gear Solid 2 Ghosts of Christmas Past So what happened? I don't know. Does it do it this at like the end of uh that sleeping gas? Metal Gear Solid game. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, your codec call cut out there too. Well, I assumed you'd gotten into the Merry Gear. I don't think so. Hurry up and end Why the not? conversation I so I can Merry cut the video. Well, at least we've got Tragic Tim. We can interrogate him once he wakes up. Yes. It all went according to plan. <laughs> Yes. What? They all entered their passcodes. But the Mary Gear. Okay, so this is obviously Saint Nick, but who's he talking to? It was as easy as hiding a package in the mission files. <laughs> they thought it was sleeping gas. Yeah. The poison gas was quite effective. What? As was the forgetting serum. He won't remember that we'd even met. He had no idea. I'm convinced he'd believe anything after all that double and triple crossing. The corroborating information we learned from playing Merry Gear Solid oh, really? Secret Santa 
<laughs> Only convinced him. Why do you gotta make the fourth wall the cry? My voice was nearly indistinct. Why do you gotta make it cry? Earth? The bloodlines of the three wise what? men are cut. What the hell? And the merry gear is ours. Not a single person can get in our way. What? If only the three wise men had been more complicit. Not a single one of them entered their passcode when they had the chance. Yes, the, the high ho 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 shall rise again. Problems? I assumed it was just a matter of. Who the hell is this? Bah! Oh, humbug. it's Scrooge. Then put the warheads into boxes, you nincompoop. Joy. Anyways. This has been Merry Gear Solid 2. Well, let's play Merry Gear Solid 2. So let's take a look. 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 27 seconds. 22 alerts. Zero enemies thrown. That's basically if you use the Nova Cane. Zero enemies polarized. That's if you use the Polar Gun. Zero enemies in love, that's if you use the mistletoe launcher. Shots fired, that's, I'm pretty sure that's if you use either the uh, polar gun or mistletoe launcher. Total items, two. Rank, naked snake. Not sure if that's good or not. Anyways, thank you for watching Let's Play Merry Gear Solid 2. I'll see you with the next LP. See you then.